Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and today's project, what I'm doing is uh, I'm working on a bar and I'm going to be dyeing some stain. I have a gray stain that I want to add a little bit of a blue hue to. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that and I'm going to be using a gel stain for this project. The gel stain I'm using is this uh, General Finishes. This is oil based and this is their gray. And I'm going to be tinning it with this royal blue. And this is made by Kita Dye. Both these are available on Amazon and I'll put a link under the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to thin it a little bit and we're going to add a little bit of the blue dye. And you can see this is a nice uh, gray color. The uh, the problem with the gel is that's exactly what it is. It's a gel. So it's a little hard to tint because you got to thin it a little bit. So we're going to start out just by putting this in this container. So to put in the dye, I have one pint here. I think a uh, pint's like 16 ounces. And what we want to do is, I'm, I'm putting in about 10 drops of the dye. The nice thing about this stuff is you can like count the drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, there's ten, and it may need a little bit more. And then I add a little bit of thinner to it, and then we'll uh, stir this up a while. Not too much paint thinner. And we'll take this and we'll just start stirring it up. I have the gel thinned out with the right amount of thinner. Looks pretty good. It's, it's nice and thin, not too thin. And what I noticed is these drops barely did anything. So I, I just want to make sure I don't make it too blue. So I'm improvising. It says use half a uh, teaspoon. So we'll try that. Stir that in and we'll see if it turns any bluer. Alright guys, so I ended up adding probably about two teaspoons and I got a, a real nice blue gray. I don't know if you could tell the difference on camera, but this is really gray and this has definitely a hint of blue and uh, I'm going to put a little bit of this on, our, on this test piece here. This is the wood we're using. It's, it's a red oak. And that, my friends, is going to look really nice on this bar. I have these uh, slate blue cabinets. And this is the color of the bar. So uh, I think I'll bring you down there and show you what it looks like. We'll put some of this on and get going. Alright guys, so this is the bar I'm working on and I'll show you how to apply this gel stain. Uh, first of all, this is a messy job. It's not the type of job I enjoy filming, but I know someone out there is going to be looking for this information as far as how to tint it and how to apply it. So I figured I'd bring the camera down. So you just take the shop towel and you wipe this stuff on. And I'll show you the whole project here. I did the uh, entire bar. This is red oak. 
I built this and it's actually green timber, meaning it hasn't been kiln dried. And these are four by sixes. And we're looking for a rustic kind of like a barn wood look. I don't want to paint this because I want to be able to see the grain through there. And I got really good coverage with this. I wasn't sure if a pint would do the whole thing or half a pint actually. And it did cover. Um, I think it kind of helped that I thinned it out a little with paint thinner. Uh, because that I think that made it stretch a little further. Although some places I'm going to have to uh, touch up a little bit with a second coat. But all you do is you just kind of put it on and what, what's nice about this gel coat and here's the brand, it's General Finishes. Um, it really soaks up in the grain nice and you can pull it right off, but it's not paint, so you can see that nice oak grain through there. And that's what makes it look really cool. And I'm gonna build up a, a top coat using the same, uh, what is it, the general finishes. They make a, a satin gel coat top, which goes right on this really nice. So that'll be next. I'm going to build up several coats of that. And the other thing is you can see some burn marks on here. And those burn marks are from a torch because this wood's green. And uh, I'm running my pellet stove and the wood has been cracking, which it's supposed to because I'm going for that rustic look. Um, and then you take a torch and you burn that. So all these cracks are burned in there. And uh, if the crack opens up more, it'll look black in there and that'll give it a nice rustic look. Well, here's a look at the bar and it's not done. I guess it's, it's got one coat of stain. I might put two on it, but I think it looks really good. I got nice coverage and I'm real happy with it. You can see the wood grain well. Now, um, on the front of this bar and on the sides, there's going to be uh, slats running down here vertically that are cherry. And then underneath, it's going to get the same thing. You're not going to be able to see through it. And as I said, there'll be uh, granite on it. And right now, as it stands, it's probably about six or 700 pounds. And uh, I'll try and put a, a picture of my buddy's bar. because um, I'm modeling it after him and I will try and post that picture and also put up a set of plans it's all uh, notched out my other friend helped me uh, work on well actually I notched everything out he just helped me put it together because these things were so big But uh, yeah, it has a little bit of a blue tint, which is what we wanted, and I wanted to be able to see the wood. And the floor down here is gray, and uh, they, they only sell the stain in a gray color. They don't have a blue. They have a bunch of other colors, but no blue. And these cabinets up here are the ones I painted. And uh, I wanted this to, you know, have a little bit of blue in it. And these painted up really nice and look good. And I mounted that TV. So uh, this bar, when this is all done, I'll have to show you guys. But if you're interested, the bar is going to go against that wall where the light is. And then there'll be a little opening over here by this wall so you can get in there. And the backdrop to the bar will be the... Uh, TV and the, there would be a sink in the middle there with granite and uh, there'll be granite on top of the bar that will match and I ordered four bar stools and uh, 
yeah, things are pretty good. I'm happy with it. <laughs> and uh, I've been using this work light here. It's actually a, a ceiling light I put up in my garage for working on small engine stuff, but uh, it's really good. I couldn't see exactly what I was doing down here, and sometimes when you're painting, you need good light. So uh, that worked out quite well. I popped it right off my ceiling in the garage and brought it down. So anyhow, I'm Double Wide 6. Hopefully this video helped you guys out a little bit. If you're doing a project like this, you'll have to check back. I'll have an updated video on this bar and the whole downstairs complete. Alright guys, thanks for watching. and Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe.